Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry to make niggas mad, but you know, we gotta just do this. It's just part of what I do. The Lord called me to call out your charlatans, let my women and uh, young men and the uh, older men that may not know. But yeah, anyway, back to this conscious community falling apart rapidly. So then this other new guy, I didn't ever seen him with them personally because I stopped watching them all those years ago. And then, you know, the Lord always brings it that somehow people's videos just start popping up on my shit. That's how I know who I'm supposed to get anyway. Because if I ain't watching your shit and your shit pop up on my shit, I'm like, what the fuck? I watch that. And then soon, every time, niggas start doing the salt and talk. And then I'm like, all right, we're going to give them a couple chances. We're going to let them do, you know, because everybody's allowed to be wrong and not know or be misguided or whatever. But when you blatantly start disrespecting the Lord, that's when I gnash your ass after that, man. When you blatantly disrespecting my, my women and shit, and, and, and you, you just, you know what I mean? You acting like you don't know any better. Like, one minute you say they, they beating the head. And then next minute you say, you know, fuck them. And I'm like, wait up. If they got beat in the head, then we got to try to, like, work with them. Because then y'all say we got beat in the head. And if we was all together at the same time, that means all of us got beat in the head. So skip me with that bullshit. Anyway, so what I want to talk about with, uh, I, I keep forgetting this. Omar, or, I don't know. I'll look his name up. Lord Jamal or some shit like that. Like I said, he he knew to me. So I watched a couple of his things, maybe like one or two. And then when he's getting into the spooky dookie uh, witchcraft shit, I was like, nah, I ain't fucking with you, homie, because you're doing spells right on camera. <laughs> like you're doing magic and you're saying you're doing magic. You're, you're, you're mixing the Bible with alien stories and ancient. And I'm like, yo, I get it because, you know, that's kind of what I do. But I don't do that because I, I say there's one fucking truth and all the stories are connected with lies in them. They try to tell you everything you was taught is almost true and then definitely believe this new fucking truth that I give your ass. That's what they always do. <laughs> That's why I'm not beef for that shit. They always find a way to get you away from the most high and always want you to put down that fucking book, tell you how not powerful it is. But once you find out that, you know, people said it says this, but it really says that, then ask them, well, what you say it says, it doesn't fucking say that, nigga. So what the fuck you talking about? Now, make sense out of that. Now, anyway, I'm sure things were added in and, you know, hidden, taken out. Because my father said, if like, do you really think the Lord would allow people to destroy his word? Or do you think he would allow them to hide pieces of it? A uh, duh. Because you ain't destroying it. So, technically, he cursed people to not have it anyway because you're fucking idiots. So, you know, he did say, I'm going to reveal new books, right? You do know that's what Armageddon's about, right? The revealing of truth. How the fuck is there going to be a revealing of truth if we got all these truths in the world and the Google, Google everything? That's because the Most High got knowledge. He ain't never letting nobody know until he feels like it. Oh! <laughs> Why? Because then when people start giving that knowledge and they're fucking used to be morons, everybody will understand there's no way these idiot motherfuckers can understand deep cosmic things like this because we bred them to be morons. Now, anyway, so he did his thing or whatever. Shout out, Lex. You called it out, too. You know what I mean? I seen a little bit of that video when you was calling that nigga out. You know what I mean? You Obi-Wan. I got to check up on you every now and again. Sound the horns. I hope you ain't a charlatan either, Obi-Wan, because... I just had some thoughts of back in the day, but I'm a, I'm a, you know what I mean, benefit of doubt. Anyway, um, so he did his thing for a while, and it seems like he really must have did something really good, or the Lord, like, not good, but bad good, like, because he, it seems like he was here, and then he's gone, and he got the football Magic 3 number, and I said, oh, shit, at first I was kind of like rooting for him and hoping he was just like a Sith Lord, an uh, ex-Jedi that went Sith. Because that's the way this shit goes when you find out the truth, bro. It's so hard to figure out what's going on that you're going to want to go wow and then you don't want to go back. And then you're like, wait up, wait up. Because everybody's pushing for the black man to act up. See, that's the one thing I caught on that shit, too. They push the black woman to leave you, dumbass. And then they push you they try to tell you the truth. They did you dirty, did you dirty, did you dirty. You should rile out and raise up. Yeah, well, my father said if you go against any of your enemies without him, you're going to go in one way and he's going to let them smash you and you're going to flee seven ways. And uh, you think you got the Lord with you? Really? 
I think Malcolm thought he was. I think he thought he had the Lord with him. I think Martin thought he had the Lord with him. I think Marcus Darby and everybody else thought they had the Lord with him. And I'm sure they believe the same thing. It's like one of us is going to set our people free one day by teaching them. But what happened to them? Oh, they kept telling you to pray to who? Oh, okay. Right? They kept telling you to not follow the law, too, but you don't know that. Like, oh, uh, I shout out, I don't have no disrespect. I hope none of the family members of uh, Martin Luther take this as, like, total disrespect. But when y'all say we should hold hands the enemy and let him beat us up, like, I literally watched them show that he, he had a class on how to stand in and properly get your ass whooped. You were asking our women to go protest, but then I, I seen they was teaching that because he was a um, strategist. Like, unfortunately, he used the women as a fucking shield because they people don't believe that y'all are savages to us. So he knew since we, the men, when we're out there, we get fucking pounded on and then flee. Um, he was like, if I, if we can take the blows long enough and we got the women out there, they women, they people gonna feel bad. Like, damn, bro, I'm a monster, bro. Like, once they show the footage of this shit of niggas getting pounded on you, beating up women and shit, like, damn, nigga, you a savage. You savage. You savage. We the savage. Remember, we the niggas. Niggas only supposed to beat women up and shit, right? Ain't that what they say niggas do? Sound the motherfucking horns. Y'all sure did pound us in the floor. Sure did beat my women up. Sure did pound on my fucking older women, too. Anyway, that's besides the plan. I ain't on y'all. This ain't got nothing to do with y'all. So, as my fall is dismantling that whole thing and other men online, like, you red pill motherfuckers is next. Y'all know that, right? After y'all watch this, this fake-ass spiritual niggas go down and then some of the readers go down, you fucking charlatan red motherfucking pill-ass niggas that say, oh, I'm with the most high, I know the most high, and all this. First of all, Adam's the first fucking beta male, you pussy-ass nigga, because it says most high is what? The alpha and the omega? Sound a fucking horn. So who invented the red pill? Pussy-ass nigga. Who told you stay away from whores? My father. Who told you get your goddamn money up to you 40 years old, then go choose a wife? My father, nigga. So any of y'all faggot ass niggas saying, y'all stealing my information. My father wrote it down and said it all those years ago. All y'all stealing my father's information, and that's why y'all gonna get pounded. Y'all gonna try to pass it off and... Oh, they stealing Kev information. Kev told y'all faggot ass niggas itself. Men been talking about this since the cave days, nigga. Cause ain't nothing new under the sun. Did he keep bringing up the Lord? Duh. Even he said it. Most of this red pill shit's in the Bible. If you go read the fucking Bible, it tells you how to be a fucking real man. An upstanding man. Period. And it tells you it's gonna be hard. And everybody's gonna laugh at you. And everybody's gonna hate on you. seems like they were preparing us for this time where women were super superficial and most of us weren't going to be able to choose women. So, you know, we have something to do in life, like work for the Lord and actually be, you know, have the greatest jobs ever. But no, keep chasing a wife that ain't you ain't never going to get. That's going to leave you anyway. Because, you know, they made it where we're broke and you can't sustain having her. Unless, you know, they actually remember, you know... We're both poor. We're going to stay poor. Shut the fuck up and be happy that I work and you work and we can pay rent and, you know, make sweet love and actually love each other while the rest of these people pretend. You know most of these people are pretending, right? 70% of marriages fail. Uh, 10 to 20% of those motherfuckers only stay with their wife because they're going to take everything. Duh. So 1% of motherfuckers are actually happy. All love, all praise to my daddy. Right? Am I lying? Am I lying? Am I lying? Because I'm only using the world statistics, right? And none of the majority have my father, so you sure they're happy? You want to drop that down another 5%? Because I'm sure some people know my father and, you know, they're the ones that are happily married. While everybody else, you know, spiritually dies from a lack of knowledge. Because we follow charlatans, fake-ass preachers, and all these other motherfuckers that...